Hello everyone and welcome to our today's episode of Hiking the Elephant Hill. I am Shiran Jaroge. I'm very excited to be here today. Behold the Elephant Hill. So many people hike for different reasons. Some for physical activity, some for meditation, some for prayer and others just for fun. My group and I, we are very excited to be having physical exercises. Facts have it that hiking the elephant hill might be a little bit tedious and a little bit tough. But with a little bit of push, you can to achieve your goals for today. A friend of mine, Ali, last year, hiked the same, same elephant hill and recommended that I need a professional help on hiking. With the help of expertise from mountain hikers and organizers of mountain trips, were well, officially known as Wild Spring Adventures. You can check them out on their website. We can check them out on their Facebook, on their Instagram and Twitter pages at Wild Spring Adventures. Well, let the adventure begin. So we are about to walk to our starting point right from here, Jambini Gate. I meant to understand that it's about two kilometers to the starting point. Mark this, that the starting point is two kilometers up the hill. Well, as we proceed, the climb becomes a little bit difficult. Like I said before, hiking on Elephant Hill is not as easy as we thought and therefore we need nothing but professional guidance. So, for our professional guidance, for instance, Mr. Patrick has been a very, very good help to us. Well, Patrick's and Wild Spring Adventures tactic do a very good job in helping me maintain my stamina all the way up, me and my colleagues. Problem comes in when people like me haven't exercised for a long period of time and punting is very unavoidable. But however, as the altitude continues, so does your body adapt. And this becomes much, much easier for the climb. As you can see now, we are currently at the point of despair. From the name, you get to determine, am I going to continue with the hike or am I going to give up? Hence, point of despair, which is actually more than 3,000 meters above sea level. The journey continues step by step, fall by fall, and slide by slide. And slightly, as we are making our way to the top, the weather changes. But this is a point of no worry, since this is a mountain experience and a change of weather is an avoidable circumstance. As we take a breather, our eyes glare to the beautiful views of the summit. And according to our ranger, it's about 15 to 40 minutes to the summit. And we are all super excited to get to the summit. As we make our way to the summit, the weather changes to extreme hailstones. But this does not hinder our motivation and we continue all the way to the summit. However, we cannot take long enough at the summit since the weather is freezing. But here are our beautiful pictures at the summit. Sing it loud. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So we are back again at Jambini Southgate, back to our starting point. And it has been an amazing journey, well, a little bit cold, but an amazing journey. For some, falling, for some, being rained on, but all in all, these are the experiences of a hiker. And remember, if you want to experience this, you can always reach out to Wild Springs Adventures, both on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and currently on YouTube at Mountain Stories TV. For Mountain Stories TV, I've been your host, Shiran Jaroge. Goodbye.